All right, so I'm back. I had a nice piss. So I'm gonna do Rogue One, a Star Wars story. But first, free digital code for you. So there is the digital code for Rogue One. So there you go. So that'll be used by the time somebody else rewatches this video. So this is unused. This will be used now because I just opened it up after all these years because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use it. So, this is the Best Buy. Ah. Let me flip it. There we go. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Rogue One. So, come on. So, you get the bonus features. I switched this around. This is what's inside of it. So, here's the movie. Ta derp. <laughs> Here is the. 3D version of the film, and here's what the interior looks like. The DVD is downstairs because I let my sister have the DVD of it. Um, ouch. And I did do a review on this, but it's been a while, so I have, you know, more thoughts on it. So, yeah, I'll put all that away then. This is really heavy. Like, this is, and actually, I have to admit, this is the, um, Last Star Wars Steel book that had a DVD included. Yeah. Because for some reason they're phasing, well, I can understand why DVD quality ain't what it used to be. So they're phasing them out of Steel books and collectibles and stuff. So that sucks. So I saw Rogue One in theaters opening weekend. That was awesome. Saw it in D Box. Very fucking amazing. I loved it. Um. The movie is definitely, I said originally it was, I said it was an 11, now it's come down to like, eh, I'd say an 8, definitely an 8, but like for me, what, um, and this is embossed here, if you can see, there you go, perfect, um, or pressed, I should say, um, yeah, what, what killed this for me, and still does, and why I won't watch it, is Vader's shit at the end. Yeah, that just, ugh, gay. Useless fucking fan service. Sorry. Not sorry. Um, the story's good. I do love Rogue One, I really do, but every time when it comes up to the hallway scene, I just turn it off. What about the other part? Like... Okay, that part I didn't have an issue with because yeah, I was like, all right, so he just makes a little appearance. Okay, cool. But when they threw him into the hallway scene with his horror shit, yeah, that just, that was so pathetic. Oh, so, so pathetic. Look, it's Vader's true power. Ooh, big fucking deal. Who gives a fuck? So, yeah, I take the movie out after when that sequence pops up. The minute that pops up, the movie comes out. I was like, done. Um, the characters. I do, I love, my favorite is Chirrut and Baz. They're awesome. Jin is awesome. Um, who, uh, Bodhi? Yeah, Bodhi's okay. Saul Guerrero's good. Uh, Borgullet's funny. Um, Krennic, highly underrated. I love Krennic. He's really good. I actually have his Black Series figure, too. Um, who else? Jin, oh yeah, Galen Urso, he's good. And her mama is good, too. I think it's everybody. Oh, K2. Yeah, I love K2. I forgot about K2. My bad. <laughs> Shit happens. I get sidetracked. Um, the 3D disc, I don't actually have a 3D player, so... Yeah, I won't be watching it in 3D. But yeah, this is from... Yeah, 2017. Even though it came out in 2016, but yeah, the Steel Book is beautiful. And I do love my Star Wars Steel Books. And I'll show you all the ones I have... 
uh, in a little bit. Um, but yeah, this, solid, love it, good, Vader sucks. <laughs> the Death Troopers, they're cool as hell. The whole story for Rogue One is really good. I actually like that. Um, but yeah, that's like my only complaint is Vader's hallway shit to the end. That was about it. Just like Vader's hallway crap. I don't care for it. Waste of time. Um, don't care for, uh, Leia's CGI head either. That was pointless. Um, what was the best part of the film? Definitely the Battle of Scarif was really good. I love that. That was great. Uh, what else was there? Introducing everybody, that was nice. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to feel about CGI Tarkin, honestly. I just, I don't know, I don't really care about him too much. Like, I don't care about the OT characters, honestly. I don't care about them, to be honest. Like, they serve their purpose, but I don't know. I guess Tarkin gets a slide in this because... Um, or no, I should say, oh, well, he's second, he's one of the secondary characters, so he's not that important. Um, but, I don't know. Uh, I, th yeah, Gareth Edwards did a great job directing this and, you know, being behind the camera with it. It was good shit. Um... I'm actually surprised that Donnie Yen didn't get turned into a Jedi, but then again, it was nice, it, like, it, like, when I first heard about this, I was excited, because I was like, finally, something that won't have, because originally it was, it was announced that there was going to be a Jedi in this, and then they changed Donnie Yen to a, uh, Guardian of the Wills, um, I was like, okay, cool. And then I saw Vader pop up, and I'm like, great. And then he went away. I was like, okay, good. The film's going to be better. And then he comes back, and that hallway bullshit. Ugh. Just ugh, waste of time. Because, see, for me, like, I want a Star Wars film that does not have Jedi vs. Sith in it at all. Like, no Force users whatsoever. Now, I know you're going to like, well, what about Solo? That had a Force user. Like, yeah, but that was a short-ass appearance. This had extended shit, and I didn't care for that. Um, but I would rather have just, like, one solid Star Wars film that didn't, inc that didn't include a Force user. I was happy for the Mandalorian until they brought in Baby Yoda, and that motherfucker can go die. Yeah. Hate that fucking asshole. God. Ugh. Anyway. Um. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm anti-Star Wars right now. Like, it's just been, ugh. So. Yeah. What would I change about Rogue One? Definitely cut out Vader's bullshit. Easily. Just cut that out, and... Film's a whole lot better. Cut all that OT shit out. <laughs> um, the thing that made this really cool was that uh, it plays out just like the anime Basilisk. If you've never heard of Basilisk, you should check that out. It's awesome. Um, it plays out in terms of everybody dies. Spoiler. But everybody in Basilisk dies in a badass fashion. Everybody dies in a badass fashion in this. So it's nice to see that soft comparison. Uh, hmm. Who do I think should have gotten more screen time? Definitely Krennic, for sure. He should have gotten more. I mean, it would have been a lot nicer to have that. Um... 
What else was there? I don't know. I can't really think of anything else. I mean, new ships and stuff, they were amazing. I love them. The Death Troopers are good. I wish they would have had more to them. Because I've, I've brought this up before. In uh, Jedi vs. Sith and the problem with Star... Yeah, the problem was... The writing with Star Wars... How writing in Star Wars is problematic video. Actually, what the hell did I call that? Because I actually have my YouTube up right now so I can keep track of what I've uploaded. Oh, there we go. Jedi vs. Sith and why Star Wars writing is problematic. That's what I called it. Yeah. It is problematic because they, like, okay. You get a new movie. Awesome. You get new characters. Great. You get your secondary characters. Awesome. And uh, the secondary characters don't get any kind of uh, boost in screen time or even a backstory. Or even um, just anything, honestly. They're just there. Like the Death Troopers, the Scarif Troopers, um, Krennic, Galen. Uh, it just, it sucks. Like they don't get any kind of boost. And it really pisses me off sometimes. Um... What else was there? Boar Gullet. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, that's just how I feel. Like, I mean, I love the Steel Book. Like, I got this. Where did I get this? I know I got it from Best Buy. Although, I think I got it off of eBay. I think. No, I pre ordered it from Best Buy. I remember now. Yeah. Because I was so excited. Because <coughs> I loved it so much, I had to have the steel book, and I'm a steel book fanatic. I love my steel books. Because they're so, they're collectible, they're valuable, and they have such great artwork on them and whatnot, depending on, you know, where you buy it from. Like Best Buy has the best ones, uh, Savini has good ones. Mondo, uh, Pop Art, what was, there's another one that's, it's an overseas store, and they sell steel books too, and some people will go out and buy every steel book variant that's available, but yeah, so would I recommend it to you and friends? Yeah, definitely, if you're into Star Wars hardcore, and this is your top favorite movie, uh, yeah, for me, this movie is kind of on the bottom of my list of Star Wars films because I don't like it that much. I mean, I like it, but not enough to want to rewatch it or anything. Um, if you aren't in Star Wars and you just see it as a sci-fi flick, then yeah, it's a decent sci-fi flick. Um, if you don't like Star Wars because of the toxicity... Totally understand that. That's where I'm at right now. Fucking idiots. Ugh. Um, if you don't like anything done under Disney's umbrella, then don't watch it. If you do, check it out. Um, if you... Uh, let's see. If you need something new to watch... Check this out, you know, it's on Disney Plus. If you got Disney Plus, if not, you know, you can find it on any pirated website you choose. Um I would say rent it from your library, but libraries are closed and shit, so you can rent it on demand. Ah, oh, my hand hurts now. That's better. Phew. So yeah, that's what I got. So Whoever redeems the code, let me know in the comments, and you're very welcome, because, you know, I don't use digital codes, honestly, I really don't. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back with another one. Stay tuned.